Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to set up the barn. I'm going to put all the rabbit cages in it and move all the rabbits inside. So they've got a nice, comfy home. So let's go. Now I said I was going to do the weapon run in this one, though I'm going to build up the rabbit cages. So I need to contain the situation. They're breeding out of control, man. I can't control this stuff. It's too much. I'm not going to have my gardens in here because I won't be able to fit them in. There we go. I'll start with one line first. Try that out. Now I don't actually need to keep both of these. No, I don't like it. I changed my mind. I want it far up against the wall as possible. Could always just manually place it. Might save and sleep. It's good for once. There we go. This is proving quite difficult to place. Damn it. Oh, finally. That's uh, not quite perfect. I don't like it. <sighs> Start again. I think it has to do with my placement. It's not good. I wonder if this is going to work. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'll just complete this in. Okay. Yeah, it did work. <laughs> That's actually perfect. That's what I wanted. Nice. I reloaded. Oh. Four logs. I have to place from the outside. Yeah. And how she look, Captain? Sweet. So now, put the lighter away. Okay, how's that? Sweet. What if I push your place even more? <laughs> Three high. I've never tried it before. <laughs> Might give it a go. There we go. As soon as I crouch, it goes away. So I'm going to have to get the book out each time. By the way, this is taking a very long time. I'm only cutting a lot of this. Attempting to place this crap. Okay, some of the ones at the top start to push forward. There we go. <laughs> That's a shitload of sticks, man. Anyone want to join my game and build this for me? <laughs> oh, I wish. It's not multiplayer. I wonder if we should build those. I think they're funny. Might go for a walk and get some sticks. Might take this over the bridge. See if I can find them. Actually, I need to stock up on cone flour. I've been using it to make energy mix quite a lot. I've got no water whatsoever, so I might collect some. If it rains, I convert it, or I could just boil it and fill it up with the water skin. Ah, oh, deer again. It's a lot easier to see things when there's no trees in the way. Actually, might place a pathway here. Yeah, that'll do. And as I'm getting rocks, I can just kind of build it as I'm going along. Okay, all filled up with sticks. I'm gonna go quickly raid this because I've got no dynamite or rope. So why the hell not? I might go down and clear some of these trees that are blocking this. Just gotta figure out a way to use the logs. I don't wanna waste them. I've gotten distracted and I started working on this path. It's quite easy just doing it this way. Picking the rocks up that spawn right next to it. Oh, this didn't take long to build at all. 
There we go. Our footbath is done. I don't know why I just stopped and did that. I guess I just like some order, some structure. It's a lot more cleaner. Oh, I'm protected from rain in here. <laughs> Rabbits get to sleep in here, I get to sleep outside. <laughs> I'm like one of those women that doesn't have kids. It has pets instead. They treat pets better than they treat themselves. Ah, oh, that's mean. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh damn, log carts. I think that's enough. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm going to move these rabbits. I've got so many now. I've got to admit, this feels great. It's like tidying up. Get to be a lot more organized. Everything is just scattered. <sighs> Daytime. Move them up here so they're easier to grab. I'm not guessing which ones have rabbits in them. Okay, they're all moved up there. Let's so go move them into the barn. I suppose there's one good thing. If you're a multiplayer and you have a village similar to this, people will ask you where things are. Oh, it's in the barn. Oh, it's in the tannery. Oh, it's in the lumber mill. Easier to say that. If you've got a big house, you go, oh, go down corridor one and head left and then take a sharp right and then you will pass the TV room and then you'll come past the room where I keep all the skins. I think this is the last one. So I think from two animal traps, I got all of these. I think that's two in a cage for each one. Well, almost cages to build. It's stuck. <laughs> a little rock as well. Ah, damn it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. It won't take long for them to fill up those cages. I'll complete them as I'm going along, but I've been working on this for a while now. And when that side gets filled, I'll move on to this side. I don't know if I'll place anything in the middle. Could put skin racks, but I want to make a tannery for that. I've got some ideas to optimize the space. Okay, I took a break from recording and I'm back now. What I want to do is remove all these rubber cages. Cleanup crew. It's making me think that they should have an item in the game that allows you to disassemble things. Maybe a crowbar. You don't get everything back, but you should be able to get some. And I'm going to be working on finishing off these rabbit cages. That's a lot of sticks, man. A lot. Glad I didn't build over these things. If you build over them, you can't use them anymore. Let's see if the enemies come back as well. That's what I'm interested in seeing. Ever since I built that bridge, I haven't seen any enemies. Such an odd thing, that. So I'm not going to go over the main cannibal village. I'm just going to get the sticks from here. And I might get a load of logs. Lead logs. Get some lead logs. For my next project. Hmm. Dynamite it is. Timbers. Stupid birds. I finished off these. Straightens out the defensive wall a little bit. Ah, oh, that was great. That's a raccoon. Thank you. Ah, damn it. Taking out the stump too early. Cancel that, get my log back. There's two trees here. And this cannibal village is free from trees. God, it looks so different here, eh? Getting there slowly. Everything's filled. Need to keep this lock cart empty so I can get sticks in it. God. So few trees. How beautiful is the rainbow when you don't have to look through the trees for it. Why don't lizards run away? 
I really need to get this tannery up. Ah, uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to build more skin racks. Ah, sleep. Ah, uh, the deer, they're everywhere up here. Oh, poet again. Oh, I managed to get a full cart of sticks and an inventory filled from around here. So, what's that work out to be? There's about 100 sticks here. Almost done. One more log cart filled with sticks and I, I should check if any of them breeded. Yep, there's one there, one there. Oh, you're, you don't have a friend. You do now. Oh, so I got two of them breeding. I'm going to take this log cart over the bridge, see if I can find some sticks. Of course I'm going to find some, there's heaps over there. Almost forgot to drop me meat, Thoth. Oh. Enemies are in the game. I wonder how this is going to go against her. Craft a bow. Oh gosh, it's just an arrow sponge. <laughs> Caught a rabbit while I was fighting her. Okay, that didn't take too long. So I'm going to head back with all my sticks. Ah, six more sticks and it's all done. There we go. All done. I'm wondering what I'm going to do for light. I wonder if I should just do that. I don't like how ceiling skull lamps flash. That annoys me. It's not going to light up the middle though, is it? Ah, oh, work something out. I could always just place one underneath it. I think I want to get rid of this tree. It's just in a really tricky spot. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of it. Explosives might damage other things around it. Axes and chainsaws can't get to it. I wonder if I could burn it down. Might be an idea. Never thought of that. Don't know if you can still burn them down or not. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be working, so what I'm going to do... Place a leaf pile trap over it. I'll try that. Man, this is where mods come in handy. Uh, I saved before I did it, so let's try a bomb. Place it right down as low as I can. Oh! What's that going to destroy? Nothing, maybe? Tree stump's still in there. But I don't have tree regrowing mod on, so I don't really care. Just double check it didn't destroy anything. Um, everything looks all good by the looks of it. Holy crap, he ran straight into that trap. Good on ya. Okay, so I'm going to run over to the main cannibal village and get some rope and finish off the lights. I don't know if I'm going to do the other side anytime soon, because there's a lot to do. Ah, oh, I thought I heard a raccoon. God, it's running fire. Ah, oh, got him. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's so many raccoons here. You build near here and you travel past here a lot, you're going to run into heaps. And this is hard survival. So, yeah, there's a lot. I don't know why that's still there. Why haven't I removed it? <laughs> you're kidding me. You bastard. Man, the whole cut is so destructive. After reload, I lost that raccoon. <laughs> oh, I already had like eight skins. Didn't get a raccoon this time, I got a deer. Probably more useful in my case. If you're looking for something to try out and test something for me, come here and build a shelter somewhere around here. Save and then exit and come back into the game and see if a raccoon is around here. So check down here, all around here, up there, and up around here. So just this big circle sort of area and this gully. If you find one, kill it, and then reload and see what happens. If another one respawns, might be a way to get some extra raccoons. Okay, I'm thinking about just destroying this. Oh, there's another deer over there. 
Well, I'm going to need the deer skin, so I should really stay on top of it. God, that took me a few spears to get. What the? So many animals. I'm starting to think the grassy highlands is just as good as the fertile lands. I really need this tannery. How I've found most of the raccoons is that they make this squealing noise that I've never heard before. Oh jeez, another lizard. Stuff, I'm just going to have to build another skin rack for now. There's just too many. There we go. Now where did I kill that lizard? Oh, freaking hell. <laughs> so many animals. This is hard survival. You wouldn't think it was, would you? Oh, another rabbit. Okay, one rope, two rope, four dynamite. Damn great, get out of the way. Hmm, the circuit board's not respawning. Might make it up. Another bomb because I stored it on that bomb thing I built. Bomb storage. There we go. Take this, it probably won't respawn. Three, four ropes. All done. Another lizard. Ah, take one of these rabbits back with me. Oh, these have been breeding. These are going to get out of control soon. They're breeding faster than I can deal with them. So I can place it underneath. See if that's actually going underneath the floor. Yep, in the middle of the skin racks aren't there. That's a little bit brighter. Just need one more rope. Good thing I got my rope storage. So just find one, cancel it, and you open skull back. Beautiful. There we go. That's pretty much done. Now, the issue is it's going to be hard to see how many rabbits are up in the top one, but I could always just jump, have a peek. But that just optimizes the space. Makes it look really tidy. The boat's still got a lot of logs on it, but I don't want to take it around. So I'll just be bringing them back. Need to empty them. Need to build something. Might work on the tannery next. Got a few cool ideas for it. And that's enough for one episode. So in the next one, I'm going to build the tannery, I believe. I was going to do that weapon run thing. God, keep putting things off. I don't know. Maybe the tannery. Because I've still got a lot of building projects to do. See how I go. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.